Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing the game Pocket Mirror. Now last episode, a lot of crazy stuff happened. We went through all the mirrors, and there were these creepy little vignettes where all the dancers were slaughtered by the queen. They had all been murdered, and there's blood everywhere and gore everywhere. We had to sift through the parts to find the rabbit and fox parts so we could give them back to Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. And now we are back in the present day, away from all the gore, and we can give Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox their parts and hopefully continue on without any more horrific incidents like that, which I don't think is going to be the case with this game. But, you know, here's to hoping. So let's go ahead and continue the game. All right, leave body parts. Yeah, here you go, Mr. Rabbit. You're going through a lot of trouble for us, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit. I will definitely save you both. Thank you, miss. Aw, that's nice of him. All right, and then I guess we should give Mrs. Fox the rest of her parts. Oops, hit the wrong button there. It's been a while, guys. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll leave those here for a bit. Yep, leave those body parts. Oh, they make the squishy noise. I think we got all the body parts, by the way, so we should be able to just go up and... Is that it? I've got enough parts for you and Mrs. Fox. Hopefully you can fix you... Or hopefully we can fix you with these. You've gone through so much trouble for the both of us. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? <laughs> yes, I do. Would you please sew us back together? I wish to be reunited with Mrs. Fox. Of course. Let me just find something to sew you with. All right. Um, I think we actually have something already, which should be the sewing kit, right? Needle and thread, right there. Yeah, we already picked that up. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. All right, nice. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like he's back together, which is really good. Hopefully he doesn't, like, enact bloody vengeance on everyone in the place. Hopefully he just wants to dance with Mrs. Fox again or something like that. And I wonder how the other dancers are going to react now that they've been resurrected, because that'd be kind of creepy to see someone that you tore limb from limb back alive again. I don't know. I mean, granted, they were disembodied heads. They knew the heads were alive and would have to watch the rest of them dance forever. So, I don't know. I guess we're just going to find out here. There, all done. Can you move? Oh, hey, he looks pretty spry on his feet. <laughs> Why, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. Okay, sure, let's go over there. Oh, he's following me around? Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Get out of the way, though, man. Come on, I gotta go uh, sew up your wife. All right, uh, sew Mrs. Fox. All right, doing a little good job here, I hope. I hope, or I wonder if she'll wake up now. Mrs. Fox? Mr. Rabbit? Yay, she's awake! Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're alright. Aw. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad you two can dance again. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. Acquired a special key. I bet that's for the door up top, so we can go ahead and use that. That is the key to the theater. I'm sure it will come in handy. I'm assuming the theater is up above, then. Thank you, er, thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Mrs. Fox, would you give me this dance? Yes. Aw. Okay, cool, they're dancing again. Aw. It was a happy ending after all. I'm so happy I was able to help them. Um, I'm hoping that they don't also get slaughtered, though. Like, you know how everyone else got shot in the other rooms, the other mere worlds? I hope that they're not part of that now, and they all get executed by everyone. And here they are dancing! Look at how much faster they are than everyone else. They really are better than everyone. Thank you for helping us, miss. We owe you our happiness. Aw, how sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and go up in here. It's closed shut. Okay, well, uh, I guess I gotta use the key, then. That would make a lot of sense. Special key! There we go! Yeah! Go in. Yeah, please? Hello? Wow, that's a slow opening door. <laughs> Alright, oh boy. I don't know if I like this room already, guys. Oh! Okay. Alright, those uh, little uh, candles come on when you touch them, when you walk by them. That's kind of a cool effect, uh, very spoopy. It's filled with children's books. Okay. Anything else on this side? Gotta check every nook and cranny. Afternoon tea rhymes for children. Okay, is there gonna be any uh, pumpkin charms, perhaps? It's the index of a book, A Witch's Guide to Medical Herbs. Oh, interesting, okay. There's so many coloring books. Oh, God, those, uh, those freak me out a little bit every time. These envelopes, can I read them? I can't understand what's written here. This handwriting is too messy. Oh, interesting. 
Okay. There's like so many things on the ground. Am I like in the middle of this bookshelf? It looks like I'm walking on this texture. Verat by Elise Ledi or Ledel or something like that. Is this like a secret thing? Oh, it's a ladder. I see. I'm just stupid. The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burton. All right. Uh, anything else I can read on the ground here? These, are, these shelves are filled with fairy tale books. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do her voice this time. I'm sorry about that, guys. I've never seen this language before. It's a page ripped from a book. Oh, oh man, I'm going out of order with lighting these up. Oh well. <laughs> I can't understand this handwriting. There's a lot you don't understand here, Alice. So many letters. I wonder who they're from. Uh, probably someone creepy, a stalker, maybe. D oh God, it's German. I'm gonna totally screw this up. I'm so sorry to those of you who speak German. D Grupi or Grupi Rung der Physician Krankheiten by Karl Ludwig Karlbaum. Okay, I don't think I messed it up that bad, but that was still pretty bad, I'm assuming. <laughs> Alright, so we got all the candles lit up. It's all lit fam, I guess, is what you would say. Oh, I can sit down? Okay, sure. I guess I'll take a seat. Hopefully I picked the right seat. Alright. What's going on here? Hello, sir. Or madam. Or I guess it's a sir. Welcome to the most incredible of shows, the most amazing and impressive prose of a little girl whose days are counted with none of her wishes ever granted. Okay, that, I mean, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Aren't I impre an impressive poet? Uh, kind of. Like I said, you only kind of rhymed, man. Who are you? Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, miss. But... Do enjoy your stay and please <laughs> keep your memories close to your heart. Okay, sure. What memories close to my heart? Ooh, is this a little cinematic cutscene? Oh, it is! This is so cool! Alright, awesome! I wasn't expecting this. This is really neat. Once upon a time in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. Oh, wow, dude, the art is really cool in this. She loved taking naps outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. <laughs> in fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. Oh, I want a mountain of sweets, but that's not all. Egliot, her best of friends, never left her side. I'm assuming it was that guy speaking earlier. Just like sisters from some monkey or something. A noisy little brat and a stuffed doll. What better combination could there be? So Egliot, the doll queen, together they were a riot, known all over the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just two silly little kids. I don't know. Silly little something. Oh, man, this is fast. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters, which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example. They also had many special cake parties and brains the size of a pea. Egliot was indeed Fletta's best friend and her most important companion. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish ways. One day, however, it started to rain, preventing Fletta from leaving the house. What a shame. Okay, why did you give me so long to read that? Um, secret no one could ever visit something. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she was flooded decided to wander in anyway. It's not as if a little rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room was a very secret letter. What could be written in this most amazing secret letter? Uh, but what's this? <laughs> The letter is filled with lies. Just who could uh, those lies room you got into? Oh my god, there was simply no way Flatter could believe such ugly lies. There's no way it was Flatter's fault. It could have been Flatter's fault. That's right. Okay. There was no way Flatter could have been involved in such a despicable affairs. Well, Flatter was nothing but a pure little girl. Okay, I think I got the gist of the story. It's been really hard to read this. There was no way it could have been Flatter's fault. All right, so Flatter is a spoiled little girl. Simply because there was a very clear culprit. Was it Egliot? You're gonna blame Egliot? It was all that mean girl's fault. Who's the mean girl? Am I the mean girl? Is my character perhaps the mean girl? The name of that very evil culprit is... Oh, uh, what the heck? Come on, cliffhanger. Who's screaming? Oh my, things have gotten quite interesting. Uh, okay, poof. You disappeared in a poof of magic sparkles. Where was the screaming coming from? Was that coming from the ballroom? Oh man, don't tell me that they all got slaughtered while I was in here enjoying the show and having trouble reading. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, okay, yeah, I heard a door lock. I kind of want to get out of here, um, so let's do that. Let's run, run, run. I don't know if there's anything else in that. Oh, god damn it. What the fuck happened? Okay. 
Alright, I have a guess as to what happened. I think that the two of them probably killed everyone as vengeance for tearing them apart. Just like I said earlier, I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, but it looks like that's what happened here. Great! Mr. Rabbit, what happened? Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them. You don't mean you've done this yourselves, do you? Why, yes, we have. Wasn't our work qu done quite beautifully? Uh, we have very different definitions of what beautiful is, man. But why? I thought all you wanted was to dance again. Oh, sweetie, you have yet much to learn, and apparently hatred is still one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? You are well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? This still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold. Do you understand? Now move along. We are very grateful for your good deeds towards us, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, guys. Don't be so creepy. You were so cool a while ago. This can't be. All right. Um, I don't want to approach them. Yeah, I don't want to really approach them either. Is there anything we can find in the bodies, perhaps? Oh, man. They did a number. Pumpkins, you got anything to tell me? No? Even the pumpkins don't want to talk to me. This is all messed up. I don't like this place anymore. It used to be so happy and fun. Can I go save? Can I please go save? I can't even go into the save room, guys. That's not awesome at all. Did they kill everyone down here, too? I can't even go into any other rooms. Oh, it's all spoopy in here. We should probably get out of here. This is gross and weird. None of the pumpkins want to talk to me? Oh! Okay, I guess I can go into this room now. I was just kind of trying every door, but sure. It's locked. Oh, man, I'm locked in? Uh, floral Meow 1644, a group of cats surrounded by sunflowers. So these are all like, what are these, cat butlers? Cat butlers and cat maids? Oh, that's so cute. So that's probably who the uniforms in the mirror room are for. All these cat butlers and maids. How adorable. I, how are you going to throw me from like a room that's completely soaked in blood and disembodied parts to this adorable room with cats. This makes me so happy now. I'm actually, like, not even affected. Even this pumpkin. Oh, my God. I just noticed even this little jack-o'-lantern has cat ears. That's so cute. Hey, what's up? Oh, no. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> he sneezed. Okay. Uh, the queen is waiting you. Aw, oh, okay. Sure. Uh, the queen is waiting you. Is that what all everyone has to say? Oh, what the heck? A pumpkin charm was on the ground. All right, get some pumpkin jams, guys. More pumpkin jams. Uh, Feline Glory, 1846. Sir Meow Polian. <laughs> Sir Meow Polian, the conqueror of Persia. Such a silly painting. Oh, more pumpkin jams. Nice. Okay. Grab all the pumpkin charms. Uh, cat Eye, 1697. The painting of a black cat's amber eye. Catisfaction, uh, 1713, a sleepy looking cat resting under a broad blue sky. I like this. I like this room quite a bit. All right, so they all just say that the queen's awaiting us. Oh, some of them got pumpkin charms, though. Might as well talk to them all, I guess. All right, thank you, thank you. What might be troubling you, little girl? I, I don't know, mister. And what might you not know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. Oh, the rabbit and the fox, okay. I, I see. Listen, miss. Our existences, no matter how faint they might be, they do serve a purpose and will in one way or another affect your own. I see. You can have this. I think it might cheer you up a little. Acquired a candy cane. Oh, well, thank you. I like candy. Candy's good. Unfortunately, I can't accompany you on your journey, but I'm sure this will be able to reassure you in times of distress. That would be so cool if I got a cat butler as a companion in this game. That'd be so awesome. Thank you, mister. You're very kind. Aw, that was very sweet. All right, the queen's awaiting me. I think this is a save... Is this a save box over here? Yeah, it's a music save box. So we can go ahead and we can save over one of the files. Very, very good. And I didn't have a chance yet to speak about what went down in the theater. And I think I'm going to do that to end this episode here, guys. But down in the theater, we got to see a show that dealt with Fleta, this new character that was introduced that I have a feeling we're probably going to meet at some point. I don't know if she's the evil pulling the strings behind everything right here. 
Um, which actually would make a lot of sense because the other person that was introduced in that was Egliot, the doll, the queen who has been harassing us this entire time. And if she was just a doll, we could maybe be in Fleta's dream. Maybe we are Fleta ourselves and we've been like, you know, brainwashed to think that we look different or something like that. I have no idea, like we're trapped in a nightmare or a dream and the queen, our doll friend, has come to life. Or like I said, maybe this is Fleta's world. Maybe we're somehow in Fleta's imagination imagination, her imaginary world where cats and rabbits and foxes and dolls can come to life and speak. Uh, and it's really, really cool that all of this is like done in this very sort of poetic, metaphorical way. I like it a lot. I really like this game. I like the atmosphere. I'm happy to be playing it once again. I'll get another episode out as soon as I can, guys. I really, really want to continue to push the story forward and solve all of its mysteries. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Er, Piggly!